are dogs here? Are dogs in South Africa are proper dogs. They're not pets. We don't have pets because of the violence. We have dogs. In Australia, the dogs there knock off at five. I was there. They got the, the dogs go like, Wow, oh, mate. No, nah, mate. No. Nah. South African dogs bark properly. Because they are God dogs. We don't feed our God dogs. Most of us just leave the gate open. <laughs> but have you noticed, South African God dogs, oh, they bark from their testicles. <laughs> properly. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Look, some people still have those terrible little dogs. Women generally, sorry girls, but women seem to hide those little funny little things under their armpit and they go into the grocery store and dis disguise it as a basket or something. Have you seen, who's got some of those? You, got, you know those little dogs that hang in, hang in your wife's arms? It's five years old, its feet haven't touched the ground yet. <laughs> Walks through the shop. <laughs> I wonder what these things are for. Odd dogs. Are proper, but have you noticed how dogs are? They like humans, and people think to us. They say, "Are you from South Africa? Will they understand you?" Clearly, we do the same things. We do the same things all worldwide. We do the same in South Africa. Even our dogs. If you notice, like a pack of dogs when they go out, they're just like a pack of humans. You get one big dog, you get three small ones, and one tiny one that makes all the trouble. <laughs> have you noticed? It? The big guy is just by himself. The three smaller guys are just cool. But the small one is... Dogs are marvelous. <laughs> They are marvelous things. Dogs are the most intelligent creatures on the planet. You've never seen a dog ever stand in human poo. <laughs> ever. But it affects us completely when we do the opposite. Have you noticed, madam? You stand in dog dudes, your brain goes into neutral for a while. <laughs> Please, God. <laughs> Tell me I'm not wearing my Crocs. <laughs> and then you think if you walk funny down there. <laughs> and there's my 18-year-old son. Now that's what I'm talking about. Because my one boy thinks he's a dog. He goes to gym every day. And I'm sure the people from overseas do the same thing. You have this trouble with teenagers. He goes to gym every day. Comes home. He's obsessed with his muscles. He walks around. I ask him to make me tea. He takes his shirt off. And then he comes, up oh, questions, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, what do you think of his guns, Daddy? <laughs> it's your pistol I'm worried about, boy. That's <laughs> what worries me. And you know what kids are like? So we've got kids, I'm sure, worldwide are the same. My boy's 18, he's now shaving a little bit. He's got three years here, four years, six years, one here. He's got no hair from there to there, nothing. So he's growing this bit long, so eventually he can... 
<laughs> he pushes me out the way the other day. I'm shaving. Please, daddy. What shall I use to cut this, daddy? A fork. <laughs> 